book. Rabbit on is a very old school term, isn't it? My pop says that. Well, I think it is. I think it is. And speaking of rabbits and other animals, you were telling me earlier today about the menagerie of dead animals that you grew up with, which I don't even want to mention it, but it's too weird. It's too weird for me to not mention Tiff Cook that you grew up in a house. No one, it actually, when you told me that, I went, ah, that's the piece that I didn't know to the puzzle. This explains <laughs> a lot is that you grow up, grew up in a house full of fucking stuffed dead animals. Now, if that's not the creepiest thing, and I think it's very bad karma, I'm no expert, but it can't be good karma just living in a house with stuffed dead animals looking at you because your mum, bless her, loves a bit of taxidermy. <laughs> Tell us about the dead menagerie. I'm sorry, everyone. Feel free to fast forward through this. I have to go Tell us, menagerie. Before we, before we start answering questions, the zoo that you grew up with. What was in your, what was in the connect collection? Well, mum had, uh, she had a little alligator. She had a massive Chinese turtle or tortoise, quite a huge one. She had a very large Chinese goose. Somebody actually went, when they had a bit of a party, somebody rode that and snapped its neck and she cried a lot. I remember her crying a lot. Somebody over. rode the dead goose and snapped its neck. <laughs> yep. Snapped its mm. neck. That was a bit of a, yeah. She had a Bambi deer. That is so, do you know how bad karma that is? And there's and there's now a whole lot of people who hate oh, your mum. She had two snakes, a big cobra that was that was actually fighting with with a like a ferret or something, or, or a mongoose. It was fighting with a mongoose. So she had a mongoose and a cobra, and then another snake. She had little baby uh, ducks, ducklings, and a rabbit, and a kookaburra, and a partridge. In a pear tree. <laughs> Where the fuck were all these animals in your house? You'd be tripping over shit on the way to have a slash. Oh, sorry, I was going away. I just knocked the head off Bambi. Sorry, mum. Fuck. That's the weirdest childhood was, ever. I'm trying to think of the other. Oh, she had a fox. There was a, one of, she also had a moose head, but she, I'm trying to, there was another animal head that was next to the moose head, but I can't remember what it was. Wow. Um, and well, you didn't know anything else, right? You just grew up in that. I just thought that was normal. Did your, Definitely. did your school friends, uh, did they just pop over and go, what the fuck is this joint? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I bet they never came back. <laughs> I didn't have many friends. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That answers all my questions. <laughs> I said they right. really really thought about it but i don't know anyone else in i don't haven't ever come across a stuffed animal in anyone else's house in my life there's a reason for that it's creepy it's super creepy I, I don't think well i know hunters do that but i'm not a fan I'm sorry you hunters i'm i'm not i'm not a fan i'm you know you're probably nice people but not you know i don't know they feel as well. You know, I was just as thinking get, of the feeling of them. They feel like a bit crunchy. Like when you press them, you can feel it's like if you imagine scrunching up newspaper, brittle newspaper, and putting it inside. If you squeeze them, they kind of felt like that. Yeah, that's terrible. Like paper mache, but scrunchy. See, I think you're losing listeners. Could you stop? <laughs> Could you just stop? Stop it. You know, this the older I get, <laughs> the older I get, the more, like, I, this is going to sound weird. I don't even like killing, like, I don't like killing ants. All right, let's like, get this straight. Well, I wasn't pro killing animals. I know, I know. I'm pretty sure she that. was. I think she just I'm, really loved the animals that she felt like she had animals in her life. I think mm, she didn't get the whole d process yeah, thing. Maybe. I don't know. All right, let's move on to something more uplifting because that is depressing as. 